9 10 ish in the morning and it's Thursday and I need to sort my hair out and do my makeup but um, I have got lots to get done because we are going to Yorkshire tomorrow and I haven't packed yet so <laughs> I need to do that somewhere I have oh, I have my Erin Condren planner and I need to uh, I've done a list of everything I need I need to add a couple of things to it and then I need to start packing I've done most of my washing so everything's done but I need to do nappies and make sure they're all ready uh, because we'll need them for the whole time we're there and we, I don't think we have washing facilities so I need all of them. So I thought this little one she was down for sleep but apparently she's not down for sleep. Are you not tired? <laughs> you gorgeous girl. She's not tired or she won't go down so that puts a hamper in my plans doesn't it? But she's very cute so she's alright. So I'm going to wait for her to be a bit more tired, wear her out a bit, have some more play. She had porridge and pear for her breakfast and she's had a good feed so she should be ready for sleepy, but she's not. So I'm going to play, I'll see if she goes down soon. She just flipped herself over so she's leaning into me and she likes to play with my hair. It's the cutest thing in the world. Ow, less so when she pulls on it. She's tired. Oh no, I'm not tired, Mummy. Not tired at all. So whilst I need to be getting on, honestly, I brush my hair and it still looks all frou-frou. Look at it. <laughs> this is what you get when you don't brush your hair for a couple of days because you're sick. So anyway, I have brushed my hair, I promise. Anyway, instead of getting on with stuff, I'm going to sit down and watch MasterChef and eat my lunch because... I love MasterChef. It's like one of my favourite things to watch at the minute. Uh, but you can't watch it without eating... So I'm going to watch it while I have my breakfast, which is celery, cheese, spring onion, avocado, and a glass of coconut water, which makes me look like I'm healthy, but I'm not really. So we're going to take a little smallest and change a bump and put it to bed. And it's two o'clock already. I made brownies. <laughs> and ah, I'm walking into doors. Good. And what? And I still haven't got dressed yet and I still haven't actually done my makeup or anything or gone to Ellsbury because naps seem to get in the way of everything. Whew, I'm out of breath. Ta -da! <laughs> so my hair's wet because I just, well I didn't actually wash it because it's only just been washed but I wet it because it was all frazzly where I've laid on, laid on it without <clears throat> properly drying it. So now it will dry and not look like that anymore. Elizabeth is finally down for a sleep. And um, Richard has gone to get Amelia. Babies just seem to suck up the day. <laughs> like I love, love it. I love being a mummy to a baby, but I've like achieved none of the things I was planning on achieving today. So, but I did make brownies. Which is good, although, you know, marginally distracting. Here is a picture of said brownies, or a video of said brownies. But, um, yeah, and I made a video of it and put it on YouTube, but I looked like a tramp. Because <laughs> I hadn't done my makeup and I was wearing rubbish, you know, slouchy clothes, and I forget how fat I am. <laughs> But there we go. I am going. I need to work out exactly what kind of diet it is I want to go on because I can't exercise. And I like the diet I was doing before that cut out all carbs, but I can't 100% do that one. So what I need to do is go back to that mostly, which is what I was doing, but I keep finding yummy chocolate things. And then eating the yummy chocolate things. So. I think that might be where I'm going wrong. <laughs> Could be wrong though. Um, yeah, so I still need to go to Aylesbury and I don't know if I'm gonna have time to do it today. Normally on a Thursday after school, I take Amelia to the library and we have um, mummy and me time. So I do really want to do that because I haven't done that in the last couple of weeks because she's been on holiday. But, um, I had a bath, so I've achieved that. That means I don't have to worry about that now. Um, and I need to make sure that Amelia and Elizabeth get baths today so that I don't have to worry about that over the weekend. And I still need to pack. We don't have masses to pack this time, so it shouldn't be as difficult. And I have done my list, so. 
and we, we're not leaving until after school tomorrow so I've got the whole day tomorrow to do the whole packing thing also and I did clean my kitchen insert video here Um, because I needed to make brownies and you can't make brownies in a messy kitchen. So the brownies were a good thing. You see, they helped me clean. Yay! So I am officially actually packing. So I'm ticking off some of the things I've actually done. I have Sunday clothes for Amelia. Party clothes are in her room and she's sleeping so I currently can't get those out. I have Sunday clothes and party clothes for me. In fact, I have four dresses because I can't choose, so I'll decide when I'm up there. Um, I have a towel for Elizabeth. I need to get the towel together for the rest of us. I have Sunday clothes and party clothes for me, except that I don't. I only have one dress in there just in case because actually my sister is bringing clothes for me to wear because she has pretty things. Um, Richard is going to be wearing, he's going to be putting everything himself in his suit bag because, you know, he's good with stuff like that. So that's packed. And then that's basically, I think, it so far. But I can't pack most of these things. Actually, I can. I just can't be able to go away downstairs right now. <laughs> but um, some of these things are in Elizabeth's room. And yeah, so I'm going to get these together. But these are mostly things that I do the day of. I need to put together Elizabeth's um, like feeding things. Uh, like the bibs and spoons and cups and stuff and just put those into a bag um, but the rest is a lot of this stuff is stuff that we, we use in the morning like hairbrush toothbrushes toothpastes eye charged ipads and stuff like that will go first thing after they've been charged overnight and stuff like that so there's a lot of these I mean I tick off before we get in the car these are reasons I need to leave the house at some point but it's already quarter past five Elizabeth has been down for long enough that I can't leave her to go somewhere in case she wakes up but not long enough but but I can't leave take her with me because she's asleep um, and I have to be cooking dinner at six because we have people coming over for the evening so possibly when I drop them home because I t they, they walk here and then I drop them home it's probably but possibly um, when I drop them home I can pop to Tesco's and pick things up then because I really need to get this done. I'm worried that tomorrow we won't end up having the time because like today, the days just disappear. They just disappear. I'm quite surprised that you can actually see my face considering I am black or, you know, straight onto a, <laughs> onto a window. But yeah, so at least I have mostly packed our clothes. That's done. And then I just need to sort out wash bags and little bits and pieces. So, but I'm feeling you know like I've progressed further now I just need to finish cleaning up and things oh and we'll need to dismantle Elizabeth's co-sleeping cot um it's first thing in the morning as well so that sh that can um be put in the car as well so hey Hello. are you happy waking up girl what are you doing you want to get up you do you You want to get up? Hands for me. Wait for me, hands. You're like, I got no idea what you're doing. Elizabeth is devouring her omelette and chips. Um, yum, yum. <laughs> She's doing really well. Is it good, Izzy? Want to try some ice cream? What's this? What's it like? Want some more? <laughs> Let's see if you want. What is that? You can try that. Or do you... oh. Is it good? 
<laughs> I'm not sure if she likes it. <laughs> Is he nice? <laughs> oh, oh, in the mouth. Yum, yum, yum. I should have got you completely naked. Yeah. <laughs> No, <laughs> she's just all brown. <laughs> Can't get it off her fingers. Mm. Is it nice? You do it then. You get it. <laughs> well done, Lucy. Okay, you can turn it off. Hmm. Which card? annoying they only have one shopkin thing and she has that one and that one and that one rah some some and stuff for now in the end i got this one for amelia because it's got tinkerbell and the alien from toy story and i really don't know what that one is and they've got one surprise one in Ooh. uh that's the bit amelia likes the most and i want this one's got baymax and Boo from Monsters Inc. and Anna from, you know, Frozen. So I got that. I also got Double. Now I'm in two minds as this because honestly, this is the best game of all time. It, everyone loves it. So I'm either going to give this to our host that's, that's uh, putting it up for the weekend or to my niece for her birthday. I'm undecided, but it's a very good game. I highly recommend it. And then I have an absolute ton of cards. Which I showed you some of. I had that one to congratulate my technically aunt on her pregnancy. And this one is to um, for Amelia and Elizabeth to give to my niece for her birthday. And then this one is a thank you card for our hosts. And then this one is. The birthday card I'm going to give to my niece. And then lastly, the one I'm going to give to my gran. So there we go. That's what I got. It's quite nice to look around the shop without having any children in tow. <laughs> and I'm going to bed. <laughs> and I still haven't finished everything, but I'm going to bed, so good night. Mm -hmm.